do we stand right now in hospitalizations in the United States, bed use, ICU use, resources? Well, it all depends on where you are. Uh, so if you're in the South, they're overloaded, ICUs are full. If you're in places like Oregon, same thing. But in other places, in the eastern part of the United States, I was talking to a colleague who's the CEO in Detroit, they're not seeing any of it. So it's, it's really acting very differently in different parts of the country. And we'll have to see. What we hope is that the Delta virus, particularly in places that are reasonably vaccinated, will burn itself out and hopefully we'll start to see. And we're starting to see a leveling off and a de decrease, but we're going to wait a little bit longer to make sure that's a trend. Yeah, the UK and, and India look like it lasted maybe 40 to 70 days in terms of their waves. You're kind of hoping for the same things here, doctor. I want to go back to your previous point because that's fascinating. And as our viewers know on social media, I go through a lot of the data uh, all the time and, and you do notice these patterns. And it, I know seasonality is a dirty word in parts of the scientific and medical community. But do you, when your conversations with other hospital administrators and doctors believe that there may also be the places that did not get hit earlier last year now seem to be getting hit. And the places like Detroit, you mentioned, that got yeah. crushed last year, maybe are not. And, and what the natural immunity side of the story may also be. Well, that's what we're hoping for. You know, Detroit got hit with the UK variant. The other places now are getting hit with the Delta variant. You know, so, it, you know, you wonder how much immunity are you starting to build up? We're, we are starting to build up some natural immunity that's out there. We're hopeful that the winter will be a better winter than we predicted. The only variable in that is what happens with influenza, with the, with the flu. And last year, we yeah. got off completely scot-free. This year may be different. Yeah, very quickly, doctor, talk to us about RSV. It is, it is a viral infection among kids has very similar symptoms to COVID. And as we have a chart, I believe cases are absolutely spiking. A lot of parents are scared. RSV is back. And in a big way, what can you tell us quickly, please? Sure. Uh, you know, it's, it, it acts like the equivalent of being, having the flu in kids, right? So they, you know, but it really is in the pediatric population. It's running through like crazy. And it looks a lot like COVID, but in, it's just as virulent, and it's a, the reason why we're having so many pediatric ICU admissions. So that's a big factor. So RSV, flu, particularly in adults, and uh, what happens with the rest of Deltas are the questions that we got to answer. Well, we appreciate all the hard work that everybody at every hospital, medical center, treatment center, paramedic around the country is doing, including yourself, Dr. Hockman. Thank you very much.